I'm in an Atmos project here and I want to export the ADM file. The first thing I want to do is make sure that my cycle markers are set to the start and end point where I want to export. Now, I happen to have a reference track. It's the CD master from the stereo version of this song. I want to match my export to that track. So I'm going to select that event and then hit P in Nuendo and that sets the cycle marker to match that event exactly. Having done that, I'm going to go into my authoring tool and click the button in the lower right corner, export ADM file, navigate to the folder where I want to save it, and then type in my file and click save. This takes a little while, but it will process the file. And now I can open my folder and there it is. It has a .wav extension in Windows. So now let's import our ADM into a different project. I'm going to start with an empty project, uh, although you could use a template. The only thing I have is my 71.4 speaker array as set up as an output channel already. But the prerequisites include that I have to have an Atmos channel. So I'm going to create a group with 714 input set it to the 714 out and we'll call it Atmos Mix. On that track I want to include the Dolby Renderer and then open my authoring tool and configure my renderer because it won't work unless there's a renderer. And then all I have to do is go to File, Import, ADM and select my ADM file. Assuming that I want all the tracks, I'm going to click this rather than, you can also select them individually if you want, and import all media files and click OK. And it takes a little while to import everything, but not that long. And boom, there it is. So you'll see it creates a folder with the content, and there's a track for every bed and for every object in the project.